and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Welcome to Workout in a Mirror. You need a mirror. You need a windshield car mount phone holder. Attach phone holder to the mirror. Place smartphone in the phone holder and turn sideways. Find your video. Press on the brackets to expand to full screen. And now you can exercise while watching self in the mirror for feedback. Hi, everybody. Um, so today we're going to be doing a quick 10 minutes lower body um, workout. It's all going to be done down on the ground. So if you have a mat, you can go ahead and grab that. Otherwise, you just need your own body weight for today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to lay down on your back. All right. So first thing I'm going to have you do is go into a bridge. So knees directly over your ankles, feet about hip distance apart. Let's go ahead and press those hips up. I want you to be looking straight up towards the ceiling to keep that neutral spine, keeping that core brace the entire time, pressing those hips up to the sky as high as you're able to, and just keep holding that. Perfect. We're going to stay here for about another 30 seconds. Nice way to tell in your bridge if your feet are in the right spot is if you reach out, you sh your fingertips should just barely brush those heels. Those hips lifted. Stay here for another 20 seconds. Pull those shoulder blades a little closer together. Squeezing and engaging those glute muscles. Last 10 seconds. Good. And go ahead, lower all the way down. I'm going to have you go ahead and flip over onto your side. All right. From here, legs all in one straight line out from your body. We're going to do a side line series, all right, to activate those glute muscles. You can go ahead and relax that head down the entire time, all right? From here, we're going to flex those toes, and we're going to lift that top leg straight up. Kick it up and lower it down. Make sure that leg is going straight up. We don't want those legs angled forward. Again, straight line out from your body. Perfect. Now we're going to lift up to the center. Little kick forward and back to the center. Tighten up that core. Make sure we don't have a lot of movement going on in that pelvis. Good. A couple more right here. And now, starting in the center, we're going to kick it back, center. Kick it back, center it out. This is just a tiny little movement, again, to activate those muscles. Good. Last one, kicking to the back. Now we're going to kick forward back. One smooth motion. Not worried about speed on this one. And again, tighten up that core. All right, now we're going to go ahead and center that out, and we're going to do small circles forward. Tiny little circles. So we're going to go ahead and keep circling that foot forward, but let's make those circles just a little bit bigger and do a little bigger range of motion. Good. All right, now we're gonna make those circles small, but we're gonna reverse that. So little circles back behind you. Perfect, a couple more of these small circles. And let's go ahead and make those circles a little bit larger now. Big circles to the back. And we're going to finish out on this side by centering out that leg and just giving little tiny pulses up and down. Little pulses. Again, one straight line. Feet are flexed. Give me 10 more seconds right here. Keep pulsing. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to bring that knee out in front of you to stretch that out. And then you can add a little spinal twist to this one. Nice and gentle, just opening up that chest. Hold it there. You should feel a nice stretch right where we just worked. A few more deep breaths on this side. And perfect. You can go ahead and flip that over. We're going to go ahead and get that other leg. So over to your other side. Again, before we start, we want to go ahead and extend those legs straight out. Feet are flexed. 
head is relaxed down so we have that spine all in alignment with each other. All right, feet flexed and we're gonna go ahead and start with those leg lifts now on this side. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and lift that leg up, hold it in the center, and you're going to go a little kick forward and center. Go ahead, kick it forward and center. Perfect. Now center it out, and we're going to go ahead and kick it back. Little kick back and center it out. Little kick back behind you, and center it out. Make sure those hips stay stabilized the entire time. Now we're gonna go ahead and combine those two moves. You're gonna kick forward and back, all in one smooth, fluid motion. Good. All right, center that foot back out again, and let's go small little circles forward. Small circles forward right here. Sure we're continuing to breathe. Let's go ahead and make those circles a little bit bigger. Perfect. Let's get a couple more forward circles. We're gonna make those circles small again, but reverse it back behind you. Good. All right, continuing with those circles, but let's make them a little bit larger now. Almost to the end of this one. Couple more. Continuing to breathe. And we'll go ahead and center it out and finish out this side, burning those glutes out with little pulse up and down, up and down. Small motion here, stabilizing through that core. Give me a couple more seconds. Here's three, two, one, oh, and let's stretch it out on this side. So bringing that knee down on the ground out in front of you. You can do just a small little chest opener here and hold. One more deep breaths on this side. All right, perfect. We're gonna flip over onto your back once again. We're gonna go into another one minute bridge hold. So ankles directly under those knees. I want you to go ahead and press those hips up just like that first move we did. Getting those hips up as high as you can. Again, reaching out to make sure that you can feel those heels and then inch those shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling, settling in here. We're going to stay in this bridge position right here for about another 20 seconds. Okay, keep those hips lifted. Last 10 seconds. One and lower it all the way back down to the ground. All right, we're gonna flip it over now. We're gonna take it onto your hands and knees. Last one here. All right, so we wanna line up those shoulders directly over your wrists, hips directly over those knees, all right? Go ahead and extend one leg out. Doesn't matter which leg you start with. We're gonna uh, take care of both of them here. And keeping that back flat, pelvis neutral, we're gonna go ahead and lift and lower. Lift, tap that foot down, lift it up, good. Looking straight down at the ground. Let's go ahead and get three more in right here with this one. Last one, perfect. Now we're gonna bend that knee, staying on that same side. You're gonna kick it straight up. So keeping that pelvis neutral, keeping that 90 degree bend in that knee.
Let's get three more in on this side. And last one. Set that knee down. Opposite leg, I want you to take it, straighten it out, toes down on the ground. Let's go ahead, lift and lower. Let's go ahead and do three more on this side with that straight leg. Last one. Let's go ahead and bend that knee in, kick it straight up. Bend it in, kick it straight up behind you. Careful that you're not letting that belly fall down. Good. Let's go three more right here. And last one, kick it up. And let's go ahead and give that a quick stretch. Toes together, knees wide, pressing those heels back into your hips and relaxing it forward. All right, and that's everything for today. Thanks for